Hello and welcome. We are joined by the 1988 Naismith Men's College Player of the Year, Danny Manning. Danny, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing well, doing well. So you're one of only eight players. You, Phelan Brunson, Anthony Davis, Shane Battier, Christian Leitner, Scott May, Bill Walton, and the great Luol Cinder to win the Naismith Trophy and an NCAA National Championship in the same season. In fact, you're the only Jayhawk on the list to do so. So what did winning our Men's College Player of the Year award after a phenomenal season mean to you? And when you look back on that year, what really comes to mind? Well, obviously you feel very fortunate and, and blessed to, to have had that experience. Um, and I know none of that is possible without the, the team that I played on, the coaches that I played for, Larry Brown, my father and his staff, um, my teammates that always put me in a position to be successful. Um, their unselfishness and their, their selflessness um, and their thoughts and actions as players. And, you know, each year that passes, I just feel extremely grateful for having that experience. And, um, very happy I got a chance to share it with some really cool, special guys that are still good friends to this day. It's pretty good to hear. And then you you weren't the only now Jayhawk to bring home some Nate Smith hardware that year, actually. Your coach, Larry Brown, who won our 1988 Men's College uh, Men's Coach Player of the Year Award. So when you when you look back at your memories with Coach Brown, what really stands out to you? And what were some of your fondest memories of Coach Brown? Coach Brown, I mean, I'm in the coaching profession now. And so every day that passes, there's always something that pops in my head that he said to us on a repeated basis. Um, but the one thing for Coach Brown is he made us better people, he made us better players. And that's what all you can ask for from a, from a college coach. And so for me, I look back on it, had a chance to uh, grow, develop as a young man, play for a great coach, play for great teammates, just happy and thankful that I was in that situation. You know, as I get older, you, you start to really appreciate some of those experiences and part of your journey um, a lot more and a lot differently. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that comes to mind quite a bit. You know, just how fortunate I was to have all those um, wonderful lessons taught to me, good lessons and hard lessons that helped me on my journey. Mm -hmm. And you kind of led into my next question there as you get older. So to make your resume even sweeter with us, you're only one of four players, yourself, Anthony Davis, Bill Walton, and Lou Alcindor, that won our, won our Men's College Player of the Year award, took home the NCAA National Championship, and were drafted with the first overall pick in the NBA draft. So how does that sound to you? And was there any pressure going number one overall in the draft out of that phenomenal college year that you had? Sounds like uh, we were a very fortunate and blessed group. Mm -hmm. And I, you would speak to any one of those individuals that you just mentioned, and they would say the same thing. They played for great coaches. They played for wonderful teammates that were very unselfish and helped put them in that situation. So that's the first and foremost thought that comes to my mind. And then it's just the memories of, of the, that time with your teammates, of that time in your life, things that you were going through. And so those are the things that always come back to uh, resonate with me in regards to looking back and reflecting back on my journey um, especially through college. So that's mm. just feeling thankful and, 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 and extremely blessed to have in, you know, the, the people around me that were around me, um, that were placed in my life by my father, Coach Brown, the rest of the staff, and, and all my teammates. It's good to hear. And then obviously when you look back at your time at Kansas, Valley Island is obviously one of those arenas and iconic arenas in all of sports. And many visiting teams struggled to perform there in that kind of, I guess you could say, hot uh, college environment. Obviously, a lot of fans, they're very passionate for their collegiate team. So what are some of your most intimidating arenas that you had to go and play against? And when you look back at your time at Kansas, can you just talk about also those memories at Fog Island Arena? Oh, absolutely. Um, Fieldhouse, special. Mm -hmm. It is very special. And uh, you get a chance to run out through that tunnel and you, you view college basketball a little bit differently. You know, we, we're mm -hmm. biased. We, we all feel that, you know, that is probably, not probably, it's, you know, the best home court venue that you can be a part of when you're in college and everybody feels that way, whatever school that they play at. But the energy that you get from the, the fans, support you get from the fans, the community, the, the area, the state, the surrounding area is very, very um, impressive from the standpoint of the support is always there. Mm -hmm. Win, lose, draw, 
Jayhawk Nation will be in the field house and they will bring the energy night after night, regardless of the opponent. And that makes it one of the more special places in the country. And we um, definitely bring that energy. I could, I could tell yes, you. Absolutely, absolutely. You so, you know, and, yeah. Yeah. and so, you know, you get a chance to go around as, as a basketball aficionado, you know, you get a chance to go in these other different venues and you, you, you can feel the history and you can feel the tradition and you have a level of appreciation for all of those. But for the place that you play, for the, for, the, for the gym that you consider your home gym in college, it's always going to be a little bit more special. That's great to hear, especially coming from an alum like yourself. So my closing question to you is obviously you and I wouldn't be here highlighting your collegiate career and professional career if it wasn't for Dr. James Naismith and who, who invented the game of basketball, who we all, which we all love, and also had a strong impact at Kansas. So when you hear the name Naismith, what immediately comes to your mind? A genius, <laughs> you know, from the standpoint of creating this game. Now, the game that he created has really evolved and grown from, from the original rules of the game, if you will. But just his forethought, his, his understanding of what this game could be, um, when you reflect back on it, is really special. And, you know, for me, it's James Naismith, inventor of the game. Fog Allen connected to James Naismith. Dean Smith was connected to Fog Allen. Larry Brown was connected to Dean Smith. Mm -hmm. I'm connected to, to Larry Brown. And so for me, the it's five degrees, degrees of separation from the inventor of the game. And I just feel very fortunate to have played where I played, played for who I played for, um, and know that the connection to um, the game of basketball and, and Kansas basketball is pretty close. That's, that's wonderful to hear. And Danny, thank you so much for joining us today. And we're always glad to have you as a member of our Naismith family. Thank you very much. Have a great day.